Hello, everybody, and welcome to Draft Horses, the show that successfully installed Doom on your dad's pacemaker. I'm Tim Splosion. I'm Punkett. I'm Ronan. I'm Melody. I'm Bird. So, we on the show often focus entirely on the visual aspects of the MLB fandom, which is fair enough. We're all drawing artists. It's kind of our main thing. But I, I have some breaking news to bring to you guys. I don't know if you've heard this before, but apparently some people who like MLP make music about it. No. So do you guys know this? What? Get out of here. That's not true. What? Yeah, Tim, yeah. You are a liar and a hack. I don't respect you as a person. Fuck Please, you. <laughs> I can prove it. And in fact, I can prove it with song lyrics that are over a decade old at this point. I was a child when these songs came out. Now now that you're an adult, you can appreciate them properly, because as we all know, you actually have to be over 18 in order to appreciate My Level Pony Friendship is Magic. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, so you I, have to have a very uh, high IQ. <laughs> not real. It's not real. It never existed. I'm sorry. It was actually a mass so, hysteria. Guys, it's okay. Horses aren't real. Yeah, Horses H Bomber guy proved it. So I thought we'd pay tribute to the the horse fandom of old by bringing the visual arts, which, as we all know, are the only real art, to their lovely little ditties that they wrote <laughs> back in the day. I've got some lyrics here from eight different songs, numbered one to eight. Each artist is going to randomly pick a number, and they will be given the lyrics from that song and have to visually interpret them in some way for y'all's entertainment. That's the episode. Does anyone want to volunteer as tribute and go first? Not it. Me. I'll do it. Okay, punk it hey, up I immediately first. step up to the... Uh, hey, I immediately step up to the... the Come up on the, the, the tribune hall. Public Everyone else steps backwards and you just stay where you are. <laughs> <laughs> Punk it. Pick a number between one and eight. Three. So I think I think this is kind of the perfect one for you to do, actually. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Punk it. Your lyrics are: You've hair as soft as feathery down, wide eyes to look into, such trust and vigor for life. I am your pony waifu. Oh, I know. Oh. I know this song. It took I know me a where snack. this This song, yeah. From. The waifu The waifu gives you uh, such the whiplash I, nothing could have really does. Me. Weird <laughs> I was like, is this like a narrative song? Is this about like a character that has like a lot of like emotional depth? And I was like, hey, what's up? I'm your anime wife that's a horse. Okay, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, okay, so the first thing the first thing I want to ask is, do you know this song? I don't. I don't. I don't listen to, to songs with that oh. word in it. <laughs> with okay. okay. the word pony waifu in it. This song is uh, Tubby Wubby Pony Waifu. Um, <laughs> from... <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> god. <laughs> from... <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was made by Fin Plan Philosophy for the YouTube show Rainbow Dash Presents, where oh, Rainbow Dash from the Mentally Advanced series reads out funny abridged versions of popular fanfics, and this is from the the one that abridges or parodies My Little Dashy. Awesome. I only yeah. know this one because the polka? pony, uh, te yeah, yeah, the polka tribute. From my understanding, yeah, so, this is meant to be a comedic song? Yes, question mark? Uh, Debatable. No, 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 no. It's completely serious. True intellectuals watch Rainbow Dash present. This is like what I'm assuming is like mid show, mid to early show, like pony fandom. So, like, the use of Correct. pony waifu could be like completely unironic, is the thing. T tell us your thought process in terms of taking these lyrics and turning this into, into a picture. Okay. Here's, here's my thought process, uh, which is I don't want to, I can't in good conscience, no matter what, make a piece that's serious that has those words in them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know what you mean, Parmika. Well, now so, it matters, yeah. obviously. What I'm going to do is probably Skillish. choose the funniest person in the main six to focus this song around. <laughs> yeah, um, is this Fluttershy? No, 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 no. Uh, Only a little no, bit. People Only would unironically call her, like, a waifu, so, like, we can't do Fluttershy. 
<laughs> Are you understanding my vision now? I think so. This look, this is looking more and more like a like a rainbow dash, maybe. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yep. Is rainbow oh, dash calling? No, yeah, I know exactly. Like, what's going on here. <laughs> no, it's water shy calling her to white boot. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> how did you be moves? Dude, Pumpkin, how do you come up with this on the spot? Whenever I, whenever I want to draw, I'm like, all right, time to make a serious drawing. And then Pumpkin's over here creating world-class comics. Uh, I went to the Funny Mines when I was young, and they dipped me in the river by my heel. I actually yeah. lose all my comedy if I bump the back of my heel, but luckily I always wear big gigantic boots so that'll never happen. Achilles, but funny. Yeah. Right now, you guys don't know right now, but Pumpkin at the moment is wearing reinforced boots. It is destroying her floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've actually got the biggest, stompiest boots possible. Okay, hold on. I, my, my canvas is a little too small for the brush I want to use, so I have to make this slightly bigger. Her desk travels. <laughs> it's strapped to me. I'm like Sisyphus with the boulder. I'm just walking around everywhere with my like weight strapped to me. One must imagine Pumpkin happy. <laughs> <laughs> One must imagine Pumpkin happy <laughs> just at the tablet drawing for <laughs> <laughs> Pumpkin has to draw the same horses for eternity. <laughs> Rainbow Dash uh, looks like she slipped the disc and I love her for that. So the idea is that I'm going to kind of get the basics down now and then add in detail later. How is Rainbow Dash taking the news that she is she is Fluttershy's wife? So my thing is that uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna frame this as an internal monologue that Fluttershy is having while looking at her. Okay. <laughs> It's Rainbow's gonna be covered in Cheeto dust and shit. <laughs> you get me. You're, you're understanding. Nothing sexier than being covered in Cheeto dust or something, I guess. She's got That's like true. hip sweat stains as well. Like, <laughs> I think I think taking the character that's being described as like a waifu, which is normally like the weird like kind of fetishized idea of like beauty and mm. like Human. yeah the Female the idea form. of the. The, the female form, the beauty of women, the incredible pure pureness, and then putting it on some like frat bro covered in like Cheeto dust <laughs> is an inherently funny idea to me. Funnier considering that Rainbow Dash is one of the most athletic ponies in the show. Yeah. Rainbow Dash, Ra Rainbow Dash has like one of those bro shirts, you know, it says something like FBI female body inspector or like show us <laughs> oh, or something wait, like that. And like Flutter is going to be a there. great idea. Yeah, oh my god. Drop <laughs> it. <laughs> Actually, Tim, you solved this entire art piece. I, for hope, me. I, hope, I hope she visits Fluttershy in the hospital with a fucking "I paused my game to be here" shirt. That's why I'm thinking the right shirt. <laughs> we're just gonna do it now, so that it's out of the way. <laughs> I thought you were just gonna write "fuck" for a second. That's her other shirt. Her whole closet is just meme shirts. There's nothing about it. Rarity walks into her rooms like. Molly, what do you have in your closet? Open stop fucking dies. Only the finest fashion you'll ever find around in Ponyville, Rarity. It's really funny because like Rainbow Dash in the show is just she's kind of like a tomboy. She's got that like kind fun of. sporty attitude. Oh um, yeah. I write her a lot, but she's not like in my like top three uh, of the main six, which is like not to not really saying anything because they're all really good and I love all of them equally, uh, except when I don't. Mm. But um, ah <laughs> yeah. When I write her, it's so fun, and I get why the writers do so many episodes surrounding her. There's so much potential for th this dumb idiot jock horse. <laughs> like, that's just a great idea. Rainbow Dash was pony. Rainbow Dash is was fun, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, uh, everyone who's a Rainbow Dash hater, eat my dick. <laughs> <laughs> for me, thinking that Rainbow Dash kind of sucks is, is kind of part of the appeal of her. Like, yeah. I kind of like that she kind of sucks. When when the show like knocks her down a peg, uh, it is incredibly funny. And then when it does mm. it in a non comedic way, it's like really cathartic because you're like, oh, even this like cool character that I like a lot has like problem. Because like the episode where like yeah. her pet is like metaphorically dying but not actually in like the literally literal sense. going through the yeah, stages yeah, of that. Life. That was one of the that was like one of the best episodes. Literally yeah. With, like, yeah. It's like you can't be cool about that. She's literally just like, yeah, <laughs> like she has to be sad. in her jammies. Like she has to like chill out, uh, and <laughs> like cry to herself. And you're like, I, I get you, girl. I understand. I, I need to make this like really like, like absurdly long like shirt. It like does not fit her at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I might adjust like, this later. Like, when people talk about Rainbow Dash, they do a thing where they kind of characterize her like, oh, she's only a jog that doesn't care about anyone, has like no loyalty. I'm like, 
she does have like a, a nuanced personality and yeah. mm. i find it kind of odd how like people who analyze like all the mlp characters like rarity so complex oh mother shy oh well she learns the same lesson over and over rainbow however she's <laughs> an asshole no one cares about her worst character <laughs> anyway you know those people kind of suck those on the other suck. hand rarity horrible one flat one dimensional oh, get, get out of here <laughs> die i'll kill you to death Spice. oh my drop three. forces only the hottest takes in this eight page video um, essay i will now <laughs> i'm not a fucking english <laughs> major i can't do this I will I now really... justify the position that Rarity fucking sucks. I don't need to Here, explain I'm myself to you. Let's I'll take an argument. It. Let's say that Ra I... Rarity sucks. <laughs> Hypothetically, <laughs> let's just consider. <laughs> it's fucking Twilight Sparkle. But, uh... Dear uh, Princess Celestia, let's say hypothetically that my friend Rainbow Dog was a dumb bitch. Super <laughs> gay, doesn't do anything. <laughs> The characterization of of Twilight as a Ben Shapiro type is just the funniest fucking idea to me. But it also no. kind of fits. Let's to say, see, hypothetically, I'm... for the sake of argument, that Nightmare Moon was coming back tonight. What would you say to that? <laughs> and, let's say, and let's say, for the sake of the argument, I need these five other horses to, to become the elemental harmony so uh, we can beat her ass. Actually <laughs> insufferable. Her ass. Absolutely. Actually insufferable. No. I want to uh, see. You see, my moon. Twilight. I have had the spark of friendship in, right inside me, and therefore you have lost. Uh, facts <laughs> do not care about your feelings. God chose <laughs> me to be the nicest lady on the planet, and I have better friends than you. Twilight's like, haha, she's dead now. Rip bozo. <laughs> Rip bozo. Rip bozo. Damn, you have uh, no friends. What if, what if... That must suck. Yeah, what if MLB, but instead the personality of all the casts are replaced with like podcast personalities, like Joe Rogan. Oh my oh god. god. The worst proposition Rogan? ever made get, on Draft Tour. Can, can, can we get some Kill James Bond in here as well, just to balance out the fucking bro sphere shit? I need to animate Twilight Sparkle <sighs> telling Ben Shapiro that climate change is in fact real. Where are they gonna sell their houses to, Ben? Fucking <laughs> Aqua Man! <laughs> Where are you, oh Ben? God. And uh, all of us are like, me. oh my god, I've never uh, seen her so mad before. Raymond Ash would hear that and be like, yo, that's genius. Aquaman's fucking loaded. <laughs> Guys, we gotta learn how to talk to sea creatures. Guys, you guys, we need to talk to our houses. Man. The property we need value to... will go insane. You guys don't get it. You got you guys, you guys, hear me out. You guys, you guys, buying the Innsmouth NFT will make us millions. No, we can't be doing this to her. This is character <laughs> assassination. It's not just it's an funny. assassination, it's a bloody fucking massacre. None uh, of this is accurate I, to Rainbow Dash, but it's very funny to say. I, what, oh, hell what are you? <laughs> Whoa, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, pumpkin. How fucking Austin Powers jumped in? Oh, man. <laughs> Austin Powers jump scare. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. I called the Austin Powers at 3 a.m. from the dark web and he said, Groovy, baby. And I was like, Groovy. <laughs> Twilight? What is what is Twilight, what is what Horston are you doing Powers in gonna there? look like? <laughs> what is Horston oh. Powers gonna look like? It's just <laughs> Horse movie, movie. Wait, yeah. wait. <laughs> I got a really horse stupid legs. idea. Horse legs. Are you going to look I up like a reference for a horse like? Just human legs. I want Horston Powers to be a real horse. <laughs> yeah. Just so oh, Celestia, behave. <laughs> 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 oh, horse legs? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't I don't, I don't, I made a mistake. I don't want to be a horse fan anymore. <laughs> if Jesus was um, real, we would meet him. Jesus isn't here. No. No you look at the drawing and tell me there's a god. <laughs> July 28th. July 28th. What year? Ruby. What year? Every, every Wh July. Whichever. I, I just... <laughs> yeah, it comes out every July 28th. Every single day. Every <laughs> July 28th. It's <laughs> new Austin Horse Powers. July 28th is Horston <laughs> Powers Day.
pumpkin. I have never seen anyone use the fucking particle brushes that fire vacuum gives you. What is going on? Bring up the fucking fire pack of brush right now. Show the viewers what I'm talking about. Here's my goofiest brush. This, these are all penny snaps. <laughs> Look at that. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. I don't know! I think I added it by accident one time. <laughs> Show them the fire packer one. Or did you delete that one off your tab? No, no, no. There's I definitely have it. Right, yeah, just... right there. <laughs> Why would you use this? <laughs> Woohoo! Oh my god. Yeah, boys, it's a fire pack. I like it how... I don't know what you're so talking you... about. That's a totally normal brush. <laughs> See, that's there normal. Go. That's just... That's so normal. It's yeah, so it's so normal it's brush. Okay, now I need to do Fluttershy. We haven't, I haven't Something drawn like Back on topic. Back on what we're doing here. We made it. <laughs> the the worst in the world is your last, like, derailed everything. I love old comedy films. They're so yeah. good. Yeah, Mo like Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Like Life of Brian. Naked mm. Gun. Oh shit. Three days ago, I was literally binge watching all of my favorite like comedy films from like the 90s. Like. Airplane, fucking Naked Gun, yeah, Austin Powers. I miss those movies. Yeah, what's really funny so is I actually funny. have a connection to Austin Powers because one of my professors for my film degree worked on Austin Powers. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. Legend. Yeah, uh, apparently Michael Two Myers degrees of separation it. from Michael Myers. <laughs> 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 Don't call him that. That's not good. <laughs> so close, yet so far. My um. love. <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> apparently Mike Mike had to come in at like 6 a.m. every day to like do the makeup for like his roles. And at, at some point I was like, why don't you just get a different guy to do the role? Like, I feel like that's a little too much time to be doing oh. makeup. <laughs> I have a Canadian boyfriend. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> like, it's really funny. She's never done any Canadianism ever. But when I was at the border going to go visit him, <laughs> like, <laughs> I got the guy with the most like Calgary accent, like accent possible. <laughs> What's the what's the accent that Letterkenny guys have? Oh, the, um, they, isn't Letterkenny like Northern Ontario or something like that? What? No, there's no Am way. I, there's no way. Hold on. I'm checking this as well because I had this conversation with someone else. Where it I is got Ontario. To... Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. What did a, you just uh, fucking say? Ontario, you know. Ontario. Ontario. Like, like the Nintendo character. Ontario. Ant Ontario. <laughs> It's a me, Ontario. It's a me, Ontario. Oh, uh, we should have got past her. <laughs> she needs to get it back. Okay, there we go. See, I, a lot of this, a lot of this will come across in the post processing. Also, do Let, let's, let's see how this looks so far. I, I feel like you, you have gotten across how soft Rainbow Dash's hair looks. Your hair looks like those. Have you seen like? <laughs> 20 something guys on TikTok that have just the fluffiest hair. They just have fucking bushes. I, like, yeah. I wish, have like fucking, I wish I had that hair. What are those What are those things from Star Trek? Like tribbles. They have tribbles. We're <laughs> <laughs> talking about tribbles because Rainbow Dash's hair looks really fluffy. What else can I put here to like make this oh, the worst uh, possible version of RD? You have oh. more awesome powers poster all over the world. <laughs> <laughs> so I have <laughs> fish nets on the horse legs. No, <laughs> that's Rocky Horror. What, what about that poster that has? This was like a thing in like the mid two thousands. It was always in HMV when I went in. Um, but there's one poster that has Scary like movie? no, basically it's body art on a bunch of women of the different Pink Floyd album covers, and it's ah, like ah, painted yeah. on these different women, and Ooh, like that God. was in like every HMV I went to between like 2006 and 2012. That's pretty good. However, uh, I raise you. <laughs> <Bye. That's all. laughs> my wife, my wife, my, po my pony waifu. <laughs> pony waifu. <laughs> pony waifu. <laughs> pony waifu. <laughs> pony Horse Borat so is my favorite comedy movie. <laughs> Horse Borat. It's not even. There's no. Pun. There's no pun. There's nothing I mean, funny here. Move along. I, my Move my along. favorite thing to do is I don't even bother thinking of a pun. Like there was a time I drew a comic where they were at GameStop, but I just called it Horse GameStop. I didn't even bother with the pun. One of my favorite bits from this D and D podcast called the Inventor Zone. They go fantasy Costco. 
<laughs> yeah, we don't even bother with every real a real name. It's just Fantasy Costco. And it's, and it's run by Wizard Garfield. I am 90% sure that Garfield the Deals Warlock inspired me writing funny orange for season taxpayer. I love making Garfield not like a character, but a character archetype. Like he feels like some sort of primordial void that was made I since the beginning that. of time when, when people invented cats. Okay, the, the, the horse is Borat poster is almost done. My horse wife. <laughs> My horse wife. wife. <laughs> I wanna okay, I wanna I wanna imagine throughout the whole horse Borat movie, he like he just puts the word horse in front of everything. I'm in horse America right now. <laughs> My horse wife. <laughs> I'm from horse Kazakhstan. <laughs> Why didn't my oh. do that? Why didn't they have like Hudsdale, Lost Pegasus? There's just Horse, horse, horse Vegas. Horse, horse Saudi Arabia. I gotta, I gotta give him credit. Saddle Arabia is a really good one. Yeah, Saddle Arabia. I really, is really good. yeah. It does, okay, it does uh, imply the existence of Horse Mecca. <laughs> You're right. It does. It does. It's like a uh, Cars Two implies that there is like Cars Catholicism and everything. Yeah, cars Two implies that there's the Cars Carpo. World Carpo. War, the like Carpo. World War Two. Yeah. The Car Pope in his actual living car mobile, which is really funny to me. <laughs> Is car Jesus? What type of car would he be? There were no cars back then. Would he be a think... wagon? <laughs> Carts. <laughs> is he a donkey? Carts. Do you think Car Hitler was a Volkswagen? No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> of course. They call it cars too. No more. Because it can hold two ranks. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Why? <laughs> Only two of them though. <laughs> Don't do a third one! Yeah, okay, I'm gonna call this good for now. I feel like this is pretty on top of <laughs> this, I, I, this is so good. This is this Thank is you. not what oh I expected, but I don't know what I did expect, and I'm happy with this as a replacement. Sparkle Thank you, on. I'm so glad. <laughs> Sparkle on, Pony Wave. I'm boring. <laughs> Never forget your true style. <laughs> I'm gonna name this Sparkle on. Pony waifu. That's what this name will be. Melody's Melody's little little Fluttershy my wife was just so funny. If everyone would stop oh, talking and let Melody do the impression. My name is Fluttershy. This is my wife. This is this is my pony wife. <laughs> Jesus. My wife. <laughs> Oh, I've never seen Borat. I know that joke. <laughs> I, that's okay. That's the other joke that actually matters. Okay, let's move on. Let's, let's move on. Yeah, let's let's move on. Let's get the next artist up in here. Uh, Ronan, would you like to be second? Sure. Hell yeah. Okay, so pick a number between one and eight that isn't three. Four. Four. Okay. This one might be a little bit harder, but we'll we'll see what you think. Pink me in a beat, dope spitting and unposted. Sitting on the hood when I giggle at the ghosty. Spike type rap sheet, scissor when I proceed. Blow, all my syllables are toasty. <laughs> oh my god. All right, guys. That's the end of this episode, boys. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> I'm gone. Good night, everybody. <laughs> so run. I pasted it there so you can see it written down. And um, I guess the first question is, do, do you have any idea what song this is from? No clue. I. Uh, also, for context, I literally stood up and walked out of my room. Awesome. This is from the song Pony Swag by Swagbird oh, featuring Maros. I... It was a different time. <laughs> it was a I different time. What does Pink Amina beat mean? The beat for this song was created by an artist called Pinkie Pie Swear. So the beat oh. was done by Pinky. So it's a Pink Amina beat. Dope spitting, I'm guessing, is just like, like good rap and shit. Posted, I'm assuming is some kind of metaphor for being high. Sitting on the hood when I give the alert, the ghosty feels like a nice visual metaphor. And then the last bit is just about Spike writing your lyrics for you, I guess. <laughs> I, so there's... I have made a mistake in my choices, <laughs> in my life. Uh... <laughs> my wife. My wife. <laughs> yeah, what, what's your thought process? What are you, what are you thinking of going into this? I can think of two things right now. The you guys know the show Pinkie Pie, the fucking the sections where she raps with the fucking yeah, that's from the yeah, Rambo the Dash. Dash he's like TikTok has to learn. The big block. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's her rap name. Rambo Dash needs TikTok to learn. If if we can, can we show the Fox comic of Rainbow Dash needing the Family yeah, Guy yeah, funny yeah. moments Whoever to is. learn? This is before I forget, since we're still in like the beginning stages. I'm currently working on the George Biden comic that I'm working on. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's it's got Joe Horse Biden, who is named Joe Biden, and one of the things is Rainbow Dash like enters a room, and she's like, "Hey guys, I brought season two of the Cleveland Show for us to watch." <laughs> My favorite thing in the world is giving her like the worst media taste possible, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's why that's why I went specifically with Horse Borat and like Goldfinger <laughs> for her movie posters. <laughs> So Rona, with with this one, honestly, I, I I had a little bit of vision when I picked out this, because the idea of like Pinkie Pie doing the rap was kind of on my mind, but the sitting on the yeah. hood. So I thought like you could have like Spike beatboxing while Pinkie Pie sat rapping on the hood of the car, was kind of the mental image I oh. I had. What's your thinking around? Right now, I'm just drawing. I don't know, generic. Uh... Stand in horses. Pose. How about that? I'm drawing pose. You're good. But, You're but getting um, well sketched out. It was a different time. But I, you know, I always struggle drawing ponies upright. Like I struggle real bad with that because you know, who knows? Pony, pony anatomy was never meant for standing up. They're not <laughs> but... bipedal. What? No! <laughs> I can change no. that. Whenever I draw, I always draw to like, hmm, how would this anatomy look like if I? Like, say, put a horse by Beetle. What would that anatomy look like? And my brain's like, don't stand. Don't do that. And Stop it. Sit down. <laughs> it's really, you could do the thing that I do where you draw them upright, but you never draw the bottom half uh, because they're, the panel cuts them off. <laughs> <laughs> you You're a genius. About it. You're a genius. You know what? I'm doing that right now. <laughs> Let's go, baby. <laughs> Delete your art. Oh, yeah. Cowboy uh, I just shot. It. it cuts off at the waist. My internet cut off shit. for a second. All I heard was delete your art. <laughs> <laughs> like, gladly. You should delete your art now! <laughs> what art programs are we all using? Uh, the best one, Fire Alpaca. Thank you. Yeah, I use Fire Alpaca. I said oh, user, no, like, and I just think, like, stand user. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> you dare approach me. My stun power allows me to use vector layers where uh, I can <laughs> instantly <I> create corners <laughs> by intersecting two lines and then erasing the extra bit. You cannot defeat me. My power, no, money for nothing. Let's use fire I'll back a free of charge. <laughs> <laughs> Meldy, what's your stand you power? That out. Fucking electric avenue. Hell yeah. I've only decided on the name, but I don't know what else to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like a whole city block? Like power a whole city block? Yeah. yeah. I just elect oh, yeah. I just Electric electrocute <laughs> myself and die. <laughs> <laughs> you will never understand my power. <laughs> I mean considering right, I the stand you're dead. Considering there are some kind of self-destructive stand powers, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if that was Yeah, yeah. I have watched exactly one episode of JoJo, and you won't believe it. Oh. It's not the first episode. I watched the season two finale, you know, with the all where all the memes came from. That's what I watched. That's all my knowledge of JoJo, except a uh, vis uh, box like recap of JoJo. Uh, mm. I'm not, I'm, I'm not very interested in anime. I respect anime. I respect art a lot. I think it's great. Well, I um, don't. <laughs> you do <What>? art. <laughs> Evil Pumpkin has entered the chat once again! <laughs> Evil no. Pumpkin being like, Hey guys, let's draw today. <laughs> what the fuck? Evil Pumpkin be like, Hey guys, I shit up a couple minutes early, how are we all doing? Evil Pumpkin, Evil Pumpkin be like, Hi, I've submitted my raw video. Oh my god. <laughs> Evil Pumpkin be like, Yes, your commission's done on time, thank you. Pumpkin is actually doing like some slander right now, we don't even have to do that. Evil Pumpkin <laughs> fun. be like, I'm Listen. not cool and awesome. I'm on such a high horse that it's funny to watch the horse. Oh my fucking fall. god! <laughs> You're on top of Star Magnolia. Yeah, I'm, the, I'm, I'm sitting on top of Star Magnolia. My pony son yeah. who has absurdly long legs, like stilts. <laughs> you don't do weed, but Star does. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny that I'm known oh. for like multiple times drawing horses getting like un under fucking the uh, influence in some way. Yeah, fucking baked. Uh, well, okay. meanwhile, I'm the biggest nerd ever known to man. <laughs> when G5 was initially announced and like all the characters were shown, I saw Starny, uh, Sunny Star Scout, and I generally thought her last name was Sunny Stardust, and I was like, drugs? I immediately made a drawing of Sunny holding like Stardust in the description. I just put, you want a hit? That angel dust? Is that what you what you mean? I hear Stardust, I think I think David Bowie. Like Ziggy oh, Stardust. I, I hear Stardust, I think of wow, that sounds like such a pretty visual image. 
I, I do genuinely like the G5 designs a lot. No other opinion on them, but I think the designs are really good. <laughs> I have no other feelings to, towards them. I like I like defective bitch fail blazer. I think he's funny. No, don't do my boy like that. <laughs> bitch flail. A cab baby. ACAB <laughs> still applies to hits trailblazer. All cops are bastards, even your favorite. That's right, defective bitch fail blazer. I'm looking at you. No. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to corrupt Sparky Sparkaroni and like teach them like <laughs> like the cow goes moo. The pig goes, you have the right to remain silent. <laughs> no, I know where that was going. Stop. It's it's like the uh, it's the Megamind scene where he's like in the jail being raised yeah. by the prisoner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need to just watch Megamind. I need to watch that. I, One time I found all of Megamind on a YouTube ad that just played before a video I was supposed to watch. <laughs> no and I just way. sat down and watched Megamind instead. <laughs> like, all right. That's like someone using YouTube ads the way Tumblr uses use Tumblr Blaze. <laughs> yeah, like, look at Just like, found. yeah, you are going to look at this now, whether you like to or not. Damn, Weirdly used for an, a high number of Catholic discords. <laughs> they do use it for that. It is very bizarre. I miss the weird fucking horse names. It got especially weird in, like, G3. There's a fucking horse named Tinka Tinka 2. They were, they were cooking no. well. You know what? Fuck for it. I'm fine with Sparky. How about that? Ooh, conflict in the draft horse's house. How will they respond? Breaking news, draft horses uh, oh, break up. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Who here actually watches G5 content so far? Or have you kept up with it at least? The more I watch it, the more I'm just like, oh, I'm so, I'm so old. It feels very oriented past me, and I'm okay with that, but still. Mm. No, I'm not talking about the, the five minutes of it. I'm talking like the full length make your mark thing. I thought the show was going too fast, and no joke, when I asked the server, because I'm in the server, I like to discuss them. Is it me or are the episodes going too fast? And they were like, no, it's not. I haven't and been able to get over the art style of either show right now. <laughs> I know I will eventually, you but. Like, do you not me like the too. 3D? The 2D I think is real. Oh. The 2D is really. Uh, and, like, I think the 3D models are fine, but they currently move, like, SFM animations in, like, the Netflix show. No, 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 and, no, like, no, no. I need to get over watching, that. You're watching the old seasons. The old seasons are bad. Because half the old, bad. Because the old seasons bad. have been out for two years. How is it old? <laughs> they made a whole movie that looks it's fantastic. Bad. I get it though. It's, it's TV budget. No, I understand. Um, that's besides the point. I, I I was talking to like people, and I was like, "Is it me, or is the show moving too fast?" And people were just like, "No, it's not. Are you crazy? What's going on?" And I'm like, "You're Am going I old. Am I old? Are you You're not? going insane." Like of course, I'm not that old. I'm I'm only redacted, but I, I, I'm not. I'm not that <laughs> old. <laughs> I'm like, have I lost? Touch? Have I lost touch? And you know, so no, it's the kids who are out of touch. Yeah, it is the kids who are out of touch. I am the correct one because I am slightly older than you. How dare you? This is this is where I differ because Shh. I can keep up with it because I have a funny thing called ADHD. <laughs> so I'm just like, oh, finally, yes. my brain I, processing speed. Yeah. I can't, I can't keep up with, like, modern trends. Just to emphasize, like, like the gap, there's already a new generation after us. There's yeah. already been, already been like, a new set of generations. And to me, that's kind of funny. You guys know Scabidi like, Toilet? <laughs> I do, oh unfortunately. Scabidi Toilet. Because I wasn't interested, but I kept hearing about it, so... Somewhat, yeah. Yeah. I, I found it so funny. Because people... Uh, kids in the future is gonna just remember Gmod for Scabidi Toilet. I'm like, are we going through the motions again? History is a flat no, no, no. circle. Yeah, history is literally a circle. People we, we, we get old, and then they get mad for younger people for making new things, yeah. for like, liking new things. And then it happens all over again. And I'm like, Man, it begins. It's so funny. It is the so aging funny. Set in. Yeah, the aging. And now, like, people are getting mad at other people for liking new LLP, I'm like... This is why I try and be a lot more, like, encouraging and, like, positive towards Zoomers and uh, and Gen Alpha and stuff, because, like, I don't get all of the stuff that they made, but I didn't get a lot of the stuff that came out when I was a teenager, and my parents sure as shit didn't get anything that I was into. So, like, it is just recognizing that generational cycle and catching yourself before you become old man yell at cloud. Some people don't. Some people don't put any effort into not becoming old man yell at cloud. When it's like, <laughs> it's really easy. Yeah. You just have to realize that the stuff that looks dumb to you is what your stuff looked like to your parents. 
and that's why they didn't get any of it. So maybe mm-hmm. like shut the fuck up and it's fine actually. Oh man, Auntie Gertrude doesn't get the pie falling in the face of the clown on TV. We invented a new style of humor. <laughs> this has been going on for 80 years. <laughs> My god, the workers at the factory are trying to unionize. No one wants to work anymore in the year 1923. <laughs> oh, yeah. I watched a lot of Vsauce and there was this quote that I found so funny. It was from a politician who was saying to the populace that the people don't communicate with each other anymore. They only send short messages and talk in short terms and words. What has society come to? That was made during like the 1800s when people were sending short mail to each other. Oh my god. Really Time is insane. a flat circle. Imagine you wait five Time days and you get circle. a piece of paper that says law. <laughs> <laughs> I will take today's technology any day over that. Do not fucking complain. Why are you why are you complaining? Why Oh, this is too convenient. Ah, oh, I'm having all this instant communication at my fingertips. Telegram for you, sir. It's a new message straight from the Atlantic. And you open it up and it says, okay. We bombed you guys lol. <laughs> oh my god. Captain I'm Smith, one. we finally we, we finally heard back from the nearest ship, the Carpathia. They they got our distress signal that we're sinking. And what did they say? Skill issue. <laughs> Damn. Hey, Lamau. Damn. The enemy general has sent you a message from across the battlefield. Within this envelope, we shot the messenger because we hate him. But anyways, here it is. It's just a funny cat image. <laughs> 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 so your mistress has sent you a image on the gramophone. <laughs> and it's like a fucking... It's a cat with glasses. And she says, hello. <laughs> Mr. Churchill. The Germans seem to have transmitted us a woe jack. <laughs> <laughs> Churchill, listen to a soy jack! <laughs> it's over! We will fight them on the beaches. <laughs> we will fight them we on the memes. On. <laughs> we will yes. make them the soy woe jack. And Britain the Chad. You are, it is too <laughs> late, Adolf Hitler. I've already drawn you as the soy woe jack and me as the Chad gamer. That's why he killed himself. Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! All right, all right, all right. Let's let's calm it down, boys. Winston Churchill, yeah. happy enough. Oh my god. <clears throat> anyway, I believe I am basically done with this. Hell yeah! yeah great nice. work. I love messing around with like how comic pages interact with each other. So I always love to draw like characters popping up of like their confines and like having exclamation marks like destroy it or like have comic they just interact with each other in just interesting ways. I love doing that. It seems to be a little bit of a theme so far, because Punkit's one was was very panel. And then we've got was... your one playing with panels. Like, we're getting a theme here of big panel, little panel. They're handy. They're I do handy. like how well this captures like the, the lyrics, though, because you do have Pinky spitting, and you do have Spike on typewriter. So this That's is him writer. writing out the rap sheet. Yeah. yeah. I'm looking forward to the final render of this one. This one, like, that one should be really cute. Very much. We'll throw we'll throw a twist in the wrench here. Um, I will go next. Punk it. Can but you, you know pick that, me a but, number between one and eight that uh, isn't yeah, sure. three or four? I'm gonna go with eight. Okay, so the lyrics I've got are brighter than tonight's sunset. Can't mistake your silhouette. Not a sound nor voice nearby. Your main illuminates this gloomy sky. Ooh. The first thing I want to ask is, ha- have any of you guys heard of this song? I don't think Hold so. On, no. uh, I have not, no. This <laughs> is Beyond Her Garden by Wooden Toaster. Oh, that's why it sounds familiar. I think they're also known as Glaze. Fandom classic, back when people were making songs and art around just any just character, even the background sense. characters, because we only had like one season to go off of. And so everything was was kind of, yeah, extrapolating from background characters. So the song is about Carrot Top. What the? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they ever get named as Carrot Top in the show. I think their official name is, is something completely different. I think it's like the um, Harvest yeah that sounds about right so this one has a lot of talk about like brightness about color so i'm gonna i'm gonna we'll throw, we'll throw in some color early flashback <laughs> <It's flashback. laughs> give the horizon one also after punk it's drawing i was thinking like hmm what if we just add a different austin power poster to every single one of our drawings <laughs> I, I don't know anything about austin powers 
You just I'm need sorry. to be groovy. I haven't even seen a movie ever. You just Not need one. to be grooving, baby. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm on culture. I've never I, seen a movie. I do love the Austin Powers novel where he backs up his, like, uh, semi into a wall and then the novel goes, Groovy, said no one, because this was a decidedly ungroovy situation. <laughs> yeah, baby, is like a vocal stim for me now. Like, I've had it for the past year. <laughs> I'm just going, yeah, baby. It's so funny to me. Yeah, baby. Oh. Austin Powers, perfect. I love it. I'm adding an Austin Power poster somewhere in my drawing room. Hell yeah. Hello, Groovy, baby. So many posters. So we can all have different ones. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. by the way, by the way, by the way, by the way, Tim, we we were like, so how long is this recording gonna get? Oh, it's about an hour and a half. It's been an hour and a half. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying not to think about that. So my my thinking my thinking with these lyrics is they talk a lot about brightness, about how there's no mistake in the silhouette, there's no one around, and your hair is lighting up the sky. Yeah. So obviously this is a Dragon Ball Z. Yes. Oh, lovely. Yeah, baby. Um, <laughs> someone pasted up some reference for what Goku's friggin' orange getup stuff looks like. All of my Dragon Ball knowledge comes from abridged. So I know nothing about Dragon Ball. I know when they go powerful, the hair gets ah. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm yeah. looking for. Yeah, this is um, this is gonna be horse Goku. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's a nice deep. Or horse, horse, Super horse Saiyan, Hoku. Hoku. <laughs> so it's I don't think we can say that. Like that. <laughs> he's hey, got, uh, like, he's got like little the sleeves. To there. <laughs> uh, They're battling yeah, again. Yeah, it'll, it'll be over power. there. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's blowing. It's blowing in the wind. <laughs> yeah, it's blowing in the wind. <laughs> Where did I they think, come uh, from? The Austin Powers factory. <laughs> yeah, Austin, <laughs> yeah, Austin Power Factory. That's where they make all the Austin Power Factory media. There's Celestia. There's too many of them. There's Celestia. Please. Well, well uh, Twilight's asking Celestia if she could create a fucking Austin Power Factory in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> it would increase uh, tourism and merch profits by 8 million billion percent. <laughs> Like, what the fuck is Austin Powers? I don't know why. I just imagine Twilight in the Austin Power get up, just like strolling down catalog, just like pointing at people, like grooving, baby. <laughs> I looked up I, a I, film I'd love to better my social interaction, and this is what I got. <laughs> she watched Golden Finger, and it changed her life forever. Celestia, you told me to get better social interaction, so I'm digging it for the best person I know. Grooving. I mean, listen, her cutie mark always looks like the Union Jack to me from afar, so... Drop Twilight drop Sparkle drop. is the most attractive man in England. They I took it off. Twilight's mojo! Oh, no. They took her mojo! <laughs> That's why she's such a fucking nerd! <laughs> the, uh, the season 3 finale where they swapped their cutie marks, and it's like, They swapped our mojo! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Applejack needs your help. She's trying That's hard so doing what she can. Yeah. And they go up to her and they're like, Groovy, baby. <laughs> Groovy, baby. Do you what have seems the to be the issue, Applejacky? Do you have the lyrics memorized for that? Yeah. <laughs> lyrics? Still, a true, true friend helps a friend. Helps a friend. Needs a friend. friend. This has gone awkwardly quiet for, for the past like 10 seconds <laughs> everyone's just so impressed by the dragon ball oh, my, of my laptop story. is like yelling at me so i'm trying not to have my mic on too much <laughs> oh no oh no why it's cranky and i didn't give it it's gogurt today give me yogurt <laughs> so rude you you need to draw a horse borat yeah, but, and this yeah. is the thanks you get i know i know i'm a, ba I'm yeah. a bad mother I'll take things Twilight never said for 200. Twilight goes, well, <laughs> off to see your mother. Off to see your mother. <laughs> it's so great that Twilight was voiced by Hatsune Miku. <laughs> Not even the voice provider. Just Hatsune Miku. <laughs> Twilight is no, Hatsune, Hatsune Miku. Miku herself provided it's a, it's a the Hannah voice. Montana type gig. Is there a Hatsune Miku cover of The Best of Both Worlds by Hannah Montana? There's gotta be a million Vocaloid covers of Pony songs. That's how I know all the lyrics to the fucking. That's <laughs> what my cutie Mark is telling me. Because they had all these. Because oh. they had all these Utao covers. <laughs> I don't know why all these robots have cutie Mark, but whatever. Glados is just there, like, I never got my cutie mark, so and I'm fine. angry about it forever. 
sci-fi world Equestria questioning like robot ethics. Like, can robots get cutie marks? <laughs> Wait, are you spray What is the polar alligator? Flag I'm for on flag. You draw them on with a sharpie. <laughs> I remember reading that there used to be like a fan theory to like explain the fact that they reused like the hourglass cutie mark so much that it's like a a temp cutie mark people put in for when they don't have theirs into adulthood. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was interesting. Really? That was, yeah. Was that a thing? It's, it's totally a fan theory. I, I doubt that's what yeah. the staff was thinking, but it's a really cool fan yeah, theory. Well, I think it's a really fun yeah. explanation. The loading screen on your flank. Look at Apple Jack. I got my cutie oh. mark. It's the circle thing from the computer. <laughs> <laughs> It's a spinning ball for Mac users. That's for you. I think this. I think this hits the criteria. Um, yeah, this is good. This brighter is good. than like tonight's sunset. You can't mistake the silhouette. Not a sound nor voice nearby. Your main illuminates this gloomy sky. I think that does it. I sure as hell cannot mistake that silhouette. Yeah, that is an iconic silhouette. <laughs> That's I a good character design right there. That's a good My, silhouette. Yeah, it's perfect. My favorite thing about Super Saiyan is that Akira Toriyama actually made that a thing so that he wouldn't have to color in the hair anymore when he was drawing Goku. Because really? <laughs> he was working with inks, like traditional pen and paper, so it would take him yeah, forever yeah. to like do the hair each time oh my God. solid black. So oh he was God. like, well, what if it just, just wasn't? What if his hair just wasn't there anymore? He was so real for that. What if we I took the color that. and pushed it somewhere else? Let's get another artist in here, because I'm I'm basically done for sketching for now. Mel, did you want to go next? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Pick yeah. a number between one and eight that is not three, four, or eight. Deadass, those were all my choices so at the beginning of recording this. <laughs> all your favorite numbers got picked <laughs> oh, no. up, man. All my favorite numbers, no! No! That's... That's such a fucking Twilight thing to say. Anyway. She would have favorite <laughs> numbers in many of them. So Twilight coded. I'm a huge yeah. fan of 773 though, oh, because yeah. it has a unique multiplication table. <laughs> by... I think I'm gonna go with seven. Seven, yeah. okay. The lyrics are, I don't need to horse around now. I can stand oh on God. two legs. My I God. would trade I know for a pair of new legs. Grab your camera, come on, zoom in, because your favorite on, man's in. a human. The favorite man's a human? Me! Thropology, baby. Oh, yeah. yeah, who doesn't know the song, baby? Me. Fandom <laughs> classic <laughs> anthropology. Oh. I do really dig this, though. This kind of reminds me, um, in horse comics, Laura Lyra is a huge fan of The Simpsons, which is like the pony version of My Little Pony. <laughs> She's like theory crafting about how it would be to live as a Simpsons. A species of Simpson. She takes a peek into the Equestria Girls world and she's like, Homer is real! Homer, Homer real caught in 4K? Okay, what's your what's your thought process on this one? What's the goods? What's the thinking? It said horse and around at the beginning, so I'm drawing Bojack. <laughs> <laughs> real. I like that supposed to be Bojack. This is such a good face. This this already does read as Bojack. Oh shit, he has a little try. He does, yeah. Does he have a different color on his muzzle as well, or am I misremembering? I think he does. He, yeah. he does have him. He does. He does. He does. Is your favorite mare Bojack Horseman? Oh yeah. Mare. Mare. Hey, wait a hey. minute. <laughs> Transgender. Yeah, wait a minute. That's the horse Bojack. estrogen. Bojack says trans rights. Horse estrogen. Bojack says trans rights, but is very depressed about it. <laughs> Listen, there's okay. a very deep link between horses and estrogen, genuinely. <laughs> Yeah, that's why you have horse girls but cowboys. Yeah, exactly. You get me. Uh, <laughs> Chunky cowboy. brush. My mom was is a boy, and my dad was a cow. So is this is this someone else real close in to Bojack's face? Yeah, this is Lyra. She's a really big fan of horse and around. I almost wish I got this one because like. My pony son has got those like mechanical limbs and like I had canon that she interacted with Lyra once and that inspired her to make mechanical like hands. And then meanwhile, Bojack is over here like, rehab was supposed to be a first start. <laughs> <laughs> I like just got shown those memes. Yeah, now we're talking. This is Lyra showing Bojack the way. A whole new world. <laughs> a whole new world. Don't you dare close your eyes. <laughs> I didn't watch Bo uh, Bojack much. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Did you 
no one else is allowed to. No, it's just I really, said, it's cripplingly depressing. I would, that is, it's I, a good I, show, I, but it's not for everybody. I, I have heard. heard That's why it. I haven't I, watched I, it. I'm I, very suspectable. Yeah. yeah uh, I, I did, cool. I did watch it because I, I watch a lot of shows, but I usually need like a hook and that was not a hook for me. So I just did really, I have seen like a few clips and I do like, like some of the characters. Okay, the way you draw a liar there, maybe I not like it. Hatsune Miku? <laughs> it's her. It's her. It's she's holding a leak. <laughs> she's holding a leak. Yeah, that's that's what a uh, that's what Lyra meant when she uh, she was singing those lyrics. Hatsune Miku. She wanted to be Hatsune Miku. <laughs> oh, that is weird. Her hips are <laughs> her spine. Her spine is broken. <laughs> yeah, she got that elastigirl physics. I love her. She's very so cute already. You are my yeah. new wife. No, no. My wife. My wife. My wife. My horse wife. We have a supposed to be. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've been focusing so much on Lyra that when I looked over at Bojack, I was like, oh. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Why is he? Why is he? I don't remember. I know he wears like a sweater, but I can't remember. I'm like drawing him um... wearing a t shirt or some shit. <laughs> he still, he still kind of got some. He's still kind of boob jack horseman here. Boob jack horseman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. I didn't want to say it, but you know. Hamana, hamana. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, titties. Diane, I'm Awuga sad because I got I got on estrogen as a publicity stunt. <laughs> he would do that. Bojack, the show. If Bojack Beast. was trans, all of his problems would be solved. If one True. Virus, like, wow, I love humans, and then Bojack. <laughs> <laughs> Bojack. Bojack. That's all you have to say, just Bojack. Wait, yeah, wait, hold on. I love humans. Hey, Bojack. Man, being a horse fucking sucked. I'm so glad I'm a human now. I'm so glad I'm <laughs> anyway, drinks today. Oh, God. Lyra being there pushes him to his 19th drink. I thought you were going to say his 19th reason why. No. <laughs> he was one short, so nothing's happened yet. <laughs> Yeah, Sarah Lynn wasn't quite enough. Oh my god! I can't wait till I know more about Bojack Lore, because I've heard that name many times before. I had like a whole crisis at the end of that show, and... <laughs> I keep trying to fix her boobs, because I'm not happy with them, and then I just make them like the saddiest. <laughs> See, YouTube, yeah. we're not made for kids. This isn't your mother's. Horse this, this ain't your mother's draft horse. This we is talk your about grandmother's, and she was a class old lady. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, this is more of like a sketch. I'm gonna like polish it up and post. Still, it's still looking good so far. Like, I love how yeah. expressive it is. I'm really, I'm really Boy. digging the way you drew Lyra. <laughs> are, you, are you trying to work out where to put the horse in powers poster? I'm putting a different horse. <laughs> uh. Jacob horse, horse? Do, do, uh, do a horse different Mike from, Myers character. The horse from Centaur World. Yes! Uh, I love yes! Oh my god. Hell oh, yeah. I rewatched that and almost cried. Oh. Like, <laughs> the song at the end of the first season where horse and rider first meet each other again, I legit did cry at that. Yes. Yeah. Um, my relationship was like long distance for about a year and a half, and then in 2019 it stopped being long distance, and I finally uh. was back in the country again. So the song about like two people trying hard to get back to each other, and then finally doing that, and the catharsis that kind of like really hit close to home at that. Oh yeah, moment. I can imagine. My goodness. Um, yeah. I, I was just there like watching it, and like, why am I crying? And then like paying closer attention to the lyrics and be like, oh yeah, that's what <laughs> oh, that's oh. would do it. That would do it, yeah. <laughs> what is this Melody, big what's going on? What, is, what is this? <laughs> I love the teeth. <laughs> what the? I just like, uh, I just like her little like, <laughs> silly. <laughs> is Lyra going to be taking a selfie with Bojack? Is that, like, is that what's happening? Yeah, she is. I, I think She's so, like, yeah. Hey. Okay. Look in the video, uh, look in the chat for a second. I saw yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Yo, cute. I do actually have something, uh, which which is. Yes. <laughs> 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 it, 
International Mayor of Mystery, let's go! Yeah, baby! <laughs> yeah, baby! It looks like her arms have been cut off. Her hands. Yep. It looks like her hands have been cut off and they're just no. <laughs> yeah. Fucking, we love the disability rep in the spy. <laughs> And the spike comedy. See, see, see the, the thing is, in the previous movie, Twilight Sparkle went up against Darth Vader, so. What the fuck? She did have hands. <laughs> and she lost <laughs> twice. It's called, yeah. it's called oh, Twilight God. Towers 2 because she lost both she hands. Lost both hands. <laughs> <laughs> it came back. It came back, baby. Oh. And that's how you do a reoccurring joke, baby. I love the way you post Lyra so much. She looks so excited in comparison to the world's saddest <laughs> well, Bojack ever. The contrast between all four faces in this piece is just fantastic. <laughs> huge, huge fan. What else do you think this needs other than Lyra's other hand? I'm gonna also okay. cut off her hand. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I don't want to have to Lots draw that. Hell yeah. yeah. Uh, that means just, that means we're gonna lose the scrumbly pinky. Yeah. I think I can slide her and we can save her. <laughs> there's a will, there's a way. We can we can rebuild we can, her. We can we fix her. We have the tech Yeah. Same reference. Nice. Oh, do you reckon this is about it for the sketch phase though? Yeah. Cool. I I'm looking forward to the final render of this. Just the expressions alone will make it worth it. Um Yeah. Yeah. And I think I'm that leaves one us with one to go. You've still got a bunch of different options. Choose a number between one and six, essentially, but you can't choose three and four. All right, Halo 2. <laughs> Let's go, baby. We brought it back. <laughs> okay, so I've got the lyrics here for number two, but then he signed that record label. A cute quintet of boyish sound. But now that everybody loves him, I'm just a face yes. out of the crowd. Yo, yes. this song. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> just a face out in the crowd. So. Turn around. I gave you my heart and then you turned around. Why don't please make this heads. on end? We're a bunch of floating heads. Floating heads. Floating heads. We gotta oh. Take it with me. I know you're okay. coming around okay. here. I feel like we've established that four out of five of us know this song. I'm sorry, Punkin. I absolutely um, love this song. Awesome. <laughs> this is like, this is genuinely like m one of my favorite like songs. And it's well, so fun. <laughs> okay, since four out of five of us know what this song is, let me ask Punkin. What do you think this song is about? Uh, like, uh, on a, for the rest of the oh, song, yeah. like. Uh, okay. I give you my so, heart so from googling, around. from googling the, to know <laughs> the name of the song from cheating. Cheater. Yeah, I, I don't know the context. I don't know the context. My guess, knowing that the name of this is Shirt Club Pones, is that this is about Twilight looking at a book deal that this maybe gets, and it becomes mainstream, and now oh, she's... Oh, oh you... <laughs> yeah. You know, shh, run it, run it, run it, run it, run it, shh. Let her cook. And uh, that's that's kind of my interpretation. Unless this is from Friendships and Witchcraft, and it's like an incest thing, but... <laughs> <laughs> so you were way off, and then you were bang on. No! Uh, <laughs> yeah. This is the worst I day of my life. My heart and you turned around. But luckily, luckily really in this show... Okay. <laughs> this is crazy. So yeah, in the Friendship is Witchcraft canon, Shining Armor is not a biological sibling of Twilight Sparkle. This much I can gather. It goes where it goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm picking up yeah. all Oh, stop it right there. So, Bird, now... What you've got here is an opportunity to ignore all of that context Everything. and work with just the <laughs> lyrics. I'm like trying to debate in my head whether I use Twilight Sparkle and Shining Armor again or I use someone else. For now, I'm just going to use like stand in ponies for like the composition. Word I'm has of okay. Word. I'm sorry. A non horse. Like Why is this animated so well? Oh my yeah. god, you're yeah. watching it right yeah. now? <laughs> <laughs> I was too curious. Oh my god. <laughs> Punk it, you're it's welcome, so and I'm sorry. Because the song is genuinely a pop, or like um, at least the version the, I listen to yeah. is genuinely a pop. It's very well no, done. No, it really is. It's so catchy. It explains so much to me that for a time in the My Little Pony fandom, the the like most well known abridged series was like, yay, incest, and people went, this is hilarious. <laughs> this is the funniest really? shit I've ever seen. 
it really does lean into the pony fandoms 4chan dna <laughs> it really do which is really funny like, to me i i have an old brony friend who was like in the trenches um, oh he's like God. normal now he's like normal i should clarify he's normal and always has are you sure they are have get. you checked up on them are they okay <laughs> well they're a married man now so like are, is their marriage better. okay? Is their marriage going all right? <laughs> but like, I hear about older brony stuff, and I'm like, oh, I was in fact 14 when this happened, and I'm glad that I had no internet growing up. <laughs> <laughs> it was a wild west, and it was not appropriate for MLP's target audience. Which is part of why it was funny. Like, I can totally why get behind that. Why would you say that then? I don't know, probably because of the incest. <laughs> <laughs> Best out of context the uh, draft horses line I've heard yet. I was not that lucky. Mm -hmm. Your girl was introduced to horses through the cupcakes fanfic. My god. <laughs> that explains oh. your like. And that was like an awakening for me. You're like, <laughs> In pony. what way? What does that mean? In what it feels way? like what? you're like pony I horror like, aesthetic br branches from that. Is that what it is? I just imagine like 12 year old me reading this and I'm like, this is fucking awesome. This is a badass. Me and then, I, and then I proceeded it, it, to read it six times. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, very in character of me. I think a lot of people are like, ah, I'm like the pieces are coming together. Like, oh, that's why she is the way she is. <laughs> That's why she's fucking insane. But I'm, I'm noticing you're giving the, the boy band instruments. Yeah, yeah. It's giving yeah. NSYNC. Hell yeah. I mean, did anybody in NSYNC play an instrument? I thought they just kind of sang. Oh yeah, that's true. Shit. But this is our interpretation. I have no idea what these characters are at the moment. It's so it's sad trippy. that not Twilight has been ignored by not Shining Armor. Yeah, it's something it like that. Mr. Like, and Mrs. Cake. You know, the whole thing about like, <laughs> yeah, and there's, there's, the crowd, there's yeah. not... And there's not incest going on right now. It's not. Yeah, there's not. See, when when I picked this lyric, I was wondering if whoever got it was going to focus on the cute quintet of boyish sound and basically design, you know, who is in this boy band with shining arm. All right. Gloss over the other stuff. All right, list off your favorite boys. Who are you? Ladies and gentlemen, who are your favorite boys? Leave them in the comments below. <laughs> who are your favorite boys? Yeah, who's your favorite boys? I would say Stop. Big Macintosh, but I like him so much that he's no longer like in that <laughs> he's category. He's no longer a boy. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't sure so, if I'd put Big Mac in there. I mean, you know, Peter New saw the comic, and he said yup to it, so yeah, close as we get. So. Second we can't though, misgender Big Mac by putting them in the boy band. <laughs> uh, let's see, there's... Um, Brayburn. Prince okay, Blue Blood. Blood. <laughs> That's it, we uh, exhausted King all Sombra. three male characters <laughs> Wait, in the no, show. No, no, no. I just said King Sombra just now as a joke. I'm actually going to put him in. Still as a joke. Okay, Hell like, yes. Is this just me, or do I always see there's a ship where people ship Sombra with Rayburn? I, I, I love I, that artist. I, I, that one so I, I saw that artist. Shut up! <laughs> That's such a it's funny real. Game. It is real. Yeah. Not it's actually joking. very good art. The pitch for the ship is literally just imagine Brayburn met an ultra tour and was like, you're kind of hot. I'm old enough to remember when a Big Macintosh and Brayburn were basically the only two male characters in the show. M slash M shippers did not have a lot to work with. I have... Twilight Sparkle's secret chip fic folder, like the game, the card deck, right? And you know that was made very early on because they are struggling to find any other male yeah. characters in the shipping game. So it's literally all Prince Blue Blood and like Shining Armor and Macintosh and Braeburn, and that's it. No, right now, challenge. Find more male characters. Name. We have Flash no Entry, Shining no Armor, balls. Blue Blood, <laughs> Sombra. <laughs> there's, the, there's TF2 ponies in like season six or seven or whatever. There's the yeah. big Lebowski ponies. There's that school inspector pony in like season eight and all nine. right mr cake <laughs> you can ship him with anyone that guy fancy pants where he yeah. was like oh no these guys are gonna yeah. call me cringe and then they were like actually <laughs> based <laughs> soren uh, that is soren, the best yeah all right for so the longest the, time the, the, the sandbar. Only... oh my god i love sandbar that's later no, fuck it. i love sandbar what's the name of the male griffin the one the student six 
Oh, uh... Gallus? Gallius? Gallius. Why did I think okay, of that? Okay, come on. Bird from Catch up with the show. I don't understand how you guys can't finish the show yet. Because I don't... <laughs> I started last August. I'm never going to get to watch more new MLP to me again of Friendship is Magic, so I'm savoring it. I can't blow through it. Oh, you're making I'm it in, last. I'm in calling hell. <laughs> that <laughs> too. <laughs> I, okay, here's the thing. Calling. I can't do that. Whenever I watch a show, either I watch all of it or I don't watch it at all. That's how I roll with my show. Yeah. They gave a boy band member a saxophone? Yes, because I yeah, can't. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how music works. Give, uh, let's go fucking crazy. I'm gonna give someone a kazoo. You give, can't give, stop me. Give, give someone a bass guitar, because okay. then this can be a ska band. Yes! Oh, no. Yes! Yeah, yeah. Yes! Oh, okay. <laughs> can you put another trumpet and another saxophone inside that saxophone? <laughs> 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 the interlinking instruments. Yeah. It's called saxophone too. This is gonna be hell when I actually make it because like I have so many characters up here, mm. uh, background Let's here. Let's go. Uh, but My you're man. like go crazy, you, you, go stupid. I don't know. Kills with is. bass guitar and you kazoo. Fuck it. You posted that already. <laughs> that is so fast. <laughs> Yeah, why not? It's not It's not spoilers for Draft Horses, they'll just know when it arrives. <laughs> they'll know when we recorded this. Man, I definitely love that thing that came out in December that we all definitely all watched. Because yeah. it's definitely January 2024 right now. Yeah, it's definitely wow. January 2024 yeah. right now. I love Barbie 2. Do you two. remember? They call it Barbie 2 because you can hold two Barbies. <laughs> 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 the frantic the energy with which you raced. You had to get to that before they got you. <laughs> they were coming for you. The tail is on my ass. They're gonna kill me. Here is your Why? gay. It's no the gay red. Gay? It's yours, my friend. As long as you have them. False. Bro, my boy. You want it, my boy? You can have it. Dick as long as false? you have enough rupees. It's yours, my friend. <laughs> As long as you have enough testosterone. <laughs> More shoe HRT seller. Oh, why? You can have it, my friend. As long as you have enough shipping. <laughs> Trans rights? Top surgery? It's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough. This, this is stupid. This is so stupid. This is, no, this is great. I don't know what you're talking about. South Tower? Oh, it's yours, my friend. I'm gonna go <laughs> They call it 9-11-2 because there's two towers. No, <laughs> no, 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 we can't do that. We're not, not, we're cutting that, we're cutting that. That is not going in. <laughs> dead ass. I was so prepared yeah, was. to like, for the possibility of like getting September, the song. Like, I can't remember <laughs> what happened in September. I and I was going to straight up uh, draw a guy looking. When everybody as died. <laughs> I was gonna draw a guy looking at a calendar. The calendar just said not like not nine eleven. No, 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 not in my Christian horse house. I, I gotta find like a Christian horse art on the same level as like Sonic has become Catholic. Like I gotta find those. I have art on my phone of Pinkie Pie just kneeling in front of Jesus Christ on the cross. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's yeah, I'm awesome. A tea. Please. If someone does something particularly heinous, you send that picture to them and go, this needs to be you. <laughs> you when you're you making fun of Jesus, this is who you're also making fun of. Oh my god. Like <laughs> Jesus would not say Keck W to this. <laughs> Jesus, I don't think you'd say that in general. A, Jesus would be a Pinkie Pie fan. You'd go, look at her spreading mirth and joy across the land. <laughs> As a Catholic, I, like, I approve. <laughs> I like this horse. Yeah. Oh my god, I just found out that the name of the image is fucking Pinkie Pie Finds Jesus. <laughs> there you oh, are. Oh, there you are. I've been looking for you. I love the like mascara here. <laughs> like Wait, what? dripping off the face. This is good. Wait, mine? Yes, on yours, on the okay. drawing that we're all okay. watching. All right. All right. The thing this section of the episode is allegedly about. I, I guess it's like some kind of rom-com or something. I don't know. Cadence feels like not good or something. I don't know. I don't know what the plot is for this hypothetical AU where like King Stomer is just a though. normal pony on like a boy band. <laughs> hey, I mean, if people can ship Brayburn with fucking King Stomer, I'm sure anything can happen. Yeah, they're lovers in this AU. Uh, like, Braver's going to be, like, looking at Sombra, like, over here, like, like, I wonder what the fuck is. When I, was um, Austin powered, when I was Austin Powered Jump Scared. <laughs> <laughs> Real proud that the Austin Powered Jump Scare happens. 
my best work. Yeah, it is. Yeah, Bird, where are you going to put your Rustin Powers poster? In front of the stage. Just put the... Like, in front of the stage. <laughs> like, give me yeah, an Austin, Austin Powers Tony. poster to, like, replicate. I know nothing about it, but, like, I'll try to replicate it. I'm, I'm on it. Good, you know. All right, that one, Mr. you got it. I have no idea who it should be who, but I'll put it in. Is Twilight Dr. Evil? <laughs> no, Twilight is Austin. Yeah. I already established this. You call me a fake fan, Pond. No, 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 no. It's Alessia. It's Alessia. Dr. Evil. Dr. Evil is oh little Dr. Evil. It's Luna. Little, yes. little one's Luna. Yes. <laughs> the mini me. All right, make, noting this down. So it's like the tall one's Celestia, the little one's Luna. Like, You're making yes. notes. Pinky is the Lord. woman. The woman? No, no, no. The I, woman. No, sorry. Maybe the woman. The woman. Bye bye is a cute ship. I do oh, think it's really funny, point, though, because uh... imagine being around somebody who, like, defies your course of study every single day. I don't know what's a I'm better name for the ship. Bye bye or Twinkie? <laughs> <laughs> Both are really good. Both are really good. They are blessed with, like, the perfect name combo. I'm going to, like, uh, draw, like, the entire poster as if you were looking at it head-on. And then when I'm done with it, I'll make a copy of it and then transform it so that it melts with, you know, the perspective of the front of the stage here. Yeah. And it'll be accurate. Yeah. And it's, I'm, I'm so good at this game. Damn, I'm so this good. game. Damn. I'm so good at this I'm game. So I'm a gamer. Game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, penis. <laughs> You want it if right. you're my friend, as long as you have a view for you. <laughs> I'm a grown adult who knows what she's doing. Can we just make the preview for this video just awesome powers? We'll post a video that is titled Draft Horse's new episode trailer. And it's just gonna be one of the trailers for Austin Powers. <laughs> yes! Yes! Do that! No. Do that! So, uh, how's we the should, copyright system gonna treat us? We should dub over it. We should, over uh, it. Who cares? we should dub over it. Fan dub! <laughs> the real time yeah, Austin Powers yeah, fan dub. on Netflix. Good morning, USA! Hey! <laughs> I killed her! No! I'm gonna give her 20 cc of unfunny stats. <laughs> you have to wake her up. She's gone too funny. Brooke, make an Ohio joke. This is such a nonsense episode. <laughs> I don't know what's oh going God. on. I felt so uncultured this entire episode because I don't know. I feel like not knowing Austin Powers makes you more cultured, honestly. <laughs> what do you mean by you are? If you watch them, you'll see. You aren't missing out on that much in life if you don't. No, Austin you are missing Powers. out on everything. I'm sorry, me and Pumpkin will disagree. I've never watched an Austin Powers movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, what? My favorite. <laughs> oh my god, the reveal. Ronan, Ronan, I hate I hate to remind you of this, but but Punkit brought in an Austin Powers poster as an example of a cringe bad piece of media that Rainbow Dash could be into. Oh no! <laughs> hey, 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 we all put Borat there. The we deception. Also put Borat there. What's up with that? Ronan, I'm so sorry to tell you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you Ronan. Oh god Did damn. You get the joke. How dare you? How dare <laughs> you? Not cringe. Oh, you cringe white know. boy spotted. Okay, these are going to be like anthro versions. I have like, no funny. taste. Y'all have no taste. <laughs> Guys, I'm not actually funny. I've just been stimming for the past two hours. Uh, <laughs> I see. Me too. I do genuinely love. Austin Powers character, but I've never watched any of the films, and I was thinking of what it would be funny God. for her to have a poster of. <laughs> I was like, well, I've not heard great things about this about Goldfinger, so. Weirdly enough, Goldfinger is my favorite Austin Powers movie. I hate the other two. That's the only <laughs> one that I can sit through. I, I don't know why. But I thought called Goldfingers. What did you What did you call my fingers? Why are we talking about fingers? This is a children's program. <laughs> yeah, this is YouTube Kids. <laughs> oh, we were talking member, about boobs way. earlier. I don't... <laughs> the movie's called the Golden Member. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> That's right! Penis. Because it's, it's, it's a fucking James Bond parody. I'm stupid. Sorry, I keep forgetting what yeah. the original is and isn't. <laughs> I'm forgetting what it's a parody of. Gold Member. It's not even yeah. that funny! <laughs> Not even that funny. Uh, or we, we, we have call to... it a gold member because it's a member, kind of like it's a phallic imagery. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> penis. <laughs> no, you guys can't get to say that. Bird said penis, and you all blasted. <laughs> you guys have no room. You guys have no room.
guys have no room. Venus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they call it Venus <laughs> too because the hair is too. Why would it be called Golden Fingering or some shit? <laughs> they should have just called it Gold Penis. There we go. I would respect that more. Draft Horses is cancelled. Draft Horses is cancelled. We're at debate channel now. We're at debate channel? <laughs> we are children. We I'm an adult. Children. I don't know what you mean. I'm Welcome an adult. to the first age restricted draft horses episode. <laughs> I've captured the likeness of what's been happening all episode when I die. Oh, it's funny. Oh, funny. That's funny. Focus <laughs> dying. Quick 20 cc's of Austin Powers 3 stat. It's all Austin awesome <laughs> Powers 3 because. Quick, shout gold member into her. Is that me? Is that me injecting that funny to you? It's a it's a miscellaneous pony. It can be whoever. Quick, tell her an Ohio joke. <laughs> tell her an Ohio joke is pretty good. I wait, who's the wait lady again? <laughs> Pinky. Okay, Pinky. No, oh. it's Rainbow. Wait, what? It's Rainbow. Who do I go for? Words. It's Rainbow. Okay, it's Rainbow. I'm so excited when this episode comes up because I can't wait to just see my raw, visceral reaction to Austin Powers scaring the shit. <laughs> this episode's gonna be <laughs> fucking chaos. I need to draw myself, my horse Sona, in like immense distress. Make it sound like the Austin Power poster is like towering over you. <laughs> <laughs> I basically Gosh. have a full drawing to use as a little to, to continue the running joke, and then like this whole ass like background scene and like it's gonna be. Yeah, this has gone like way off track, but yeah. I, uh, I love this drawing. Yeah, the perspective is really fun. One day I'll be able to be capable of drawing battle scenes, yeah. <laughs> you can do it, I believe in you. I love war. I believe. Of course, Austin awesome Power is not peak comedy, I wouldn't say that. But I think it's like, <laughs> what? One of, and compared to, okay, compared to <laughs> modern comedy movies, have any of you even seen modern comedy movies? Oh, I don't see movies. The shit. What's, what's even come out? Poo -poo -kaka from I don't Poo -poo -kaka even know. Like, people, just don't make, people just don't make comedy movies anymore. People just aren't funny. No one has any humor anymore. Uh, you're Indie forgetting about uh, Sausage Party, the adult animated movie? Oh my fucking god! I'm going to kill you tomorrow. That was, that was years that was, ago now. That was many years ago, yeah. <laughs> That's the only example yeah. I could think of, it wasn't good. I, read, I can't watch the new animated I'm Adam's back. family movies because back. they're- Cam, you stole my internet! They're animated Ten. by the same studio as Sausage Party, so I'm like, it's like done. Like you can recognize just the Sausage Party ism in the animation of that movie and just how it's stylized. And I'm just like, I hate, I hate Sausage Party so much. Wait, 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 wait! Everybody, shut up! Hold on. I got the most incredible comment on the Twilight uh, picture that I posted. Autism powers. <laughs> Autism powers. <laughs> Peer <laughs> 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 reviewed. Uh, oh my god. Jesus. Why don't they reboot, they reboot the series and it's that? I would watch the hell out of those <laughs> I just got a comment that said Draft Horses is gonna go crazy this week, huh? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, whoever posted that comment, correct. We are insane. We have gone oh mad. My god. This episode is nothing. <laughs> this I feel has been going on. This has I've... been going on for two hours thirty minutes. I felt so overwhelmed in like both a good and a bad way this episode. <laughs> oh, I'm going insane. <laughs> <laughs> We've been doing this for too long. I'm back in the fucking building. <laughs> back in the fucking autism nightmare. <laughs> All around me I are familiar faces. I need, I need, I need to see an Austin Powers movie where he has autism and he's like, "Oi, I'm slim and groovy, baby." <laughs> Am I going to have to watch Austin Powers after? <laughs> Come on, yes. I wanted to make an episode about fandom music, and all we've okay. talked about is Austin. <laughs> <laughs> this is all my fault. <laughs> what have I done? What have you Why done? did you do this to what us, Funky? Why? What depths of hell have I wrought? Why did you do this to us? Boy, Otsune Miku, get in my car. Hi, I'm Otsune Miku. <laughs> get in. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> but are you done with your sketch? Because it has been two hours. And okay, minutes, like, uh, and like, for the love of god. like you see, I'm, I'm on like the line art, you see, like. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to yeah. pause when you've done the sketch so that we can get to sleep. Okay. <laughs> you're out.
Get out of here! I, like, like I was waiting for you guys to stop me, honestly. Okay, we need to call it. We, okay. We, we, okay. We need okay. to call it. We gotta get sane. <laughs> We, <laughs> we need an adult, but we are adults, and that's that's a problem. We're all adults, right? Adult, right? We are children. We know what sex is, right? Children. Dear princess. Yeah, it's groovy. Yeah, princess oh my god, like okay, yeah, I, yeah. I, Punky is right. Let's, let's fucking, okay. Fuck uh, this was a fantastic drawing. I'm looking forward to seeing the final render. It will be on screen right about now. Wow. And I am so good at art. I episode, am a master. Praise me. The, wow, the people so watching good. this episode will have had way more time to appreciate it than we did because we've been too busy being brain broken. The real autism <sighs> powers were the friends we made along the way. <laughs> <laughs> show <laughs> called Draft Horses. We've I all got autism power. power. <laughs> I don't know if I have <laughs> autism, but all right. <laughs> I probably have. I have not been diagnosed with anything as of yet, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Dear Princess Celestia, Her horse is not dear. release us from this torment because it is not groovy, baby. Your faithful students, <laughs> the draft horses. I have been your your Sisyphean host, Tim Splosion. <laughs> You can find me everywhere on the internet as Tim Splosion. Uh, I've been your Theseian artist, <laughs> reconstructed from scrap into the same person. Uh, I'm Punkit. You can find me at Punkit dash is dash here on Tumblr or Punkit Dev on Twitter. Oh I am God. your uh, Achillean uh, horse artist, ZD script. I mean, the bird gang. I'm super powerful. Please do not look at my heels. I, I'm. <laughs> I'm the bird gang on like everything, like YouTube, Twitter. I'm so powerful. <laughs> Next person. I'm your shagalicious spy, Roman T. <laughs> <laughs> I need you! Get out of my house! <laughs> <laughs> 20181, baby. But no, uh, you can find me on Twitter, Twitter, uh, and Twitter. Yes, goodbye. <laughs> Get out of my house. My name is Melody. Melody, you can find me Melody Melancholy. I am having a time. <laughs> There's nothing left to say other than like, subscribe, comment with what you think this episode was even about in the end. Um, and uh, join us next month. There's a community Discord in the description. Um, fuck off. Goodbye. Thank you. <laughs>